Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Wednesday, May 6th. On Thursday, the government is due to publish the results of its stress tests. Reportedly, there has been plenty of consternation about that process between the banks and the regulators. Today, media reports indicate that Bank of America will be asked to address a capital shortfall of as much as $35 billion. Now, this headline agitated the futures market, although it appears as if the market's disappointment has been tempered by the consideration that Bank of America could convert government preferred shares into common equity, which isn't the same as saying it needs to raise another $35 billion in new capital. Whatever the course of action proves to be, it is certain that there will be dilution for existing shareholders and plenty of hand-wringing over the government's stressful stress test process. In other developments, Walt Disney topped quarterly earnings estimates and PepsiCo said it will be raising its annual dividend to $1.80 per share from $1.70. The ADP National Employment Report, meanwhile, estimated private sector employment decreased by 491,000 in April. That was much better than the consensus estimate of 645,000 jobs lost and also much improved from the upwardly revised decline of 708,000 for March. Medium-sized businesses accounted for the bulk of the losses, shedding 231,000 jobs, followed by small businesses, which dropped 183,000 positions. The difference, or 77,000, came from large businesses. The sector breakdown showed the goods-producing sector leading the losses with 262,000 positions lost, while the service-providing sector wasn't far behind with 229,000 positions eliminated. The ADP, the ADP report is encouraging for the market since it fits the bottoming out thesis and sets a better tone ahead of Friday's employment report from the government. Still, it isn't much cause for economic celebration that only 491,000 positions were lost in the private sector in April. This labor market indicator might suggest condition, conditions are not as weak as before, but the persistently rising level of continuing claims is all one needs to see to conclude that the labor market is still quite weak. The ADP news was clearly a swing factor for futures traders. In its wake, the S&P futures swung approximately 12 points from a 5-point loss to a 7-point gain. Just a few minutes after the bell, all three major indices are in the green, with the S&P 500 up just a shade under 1%. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening.